School and Careers. Our school, Nipua Central, had kindergarten to grade 11. It was only five blocks from our home. Most of us were good students, ranging from fair to excellent. Only one, Lloyd, was glad to escape when he could, to drive the horses on an errand for Dad. He loved the horses and early showed a real skill at handling them. Each grade had its own teacher, some very skilled, some respected, some peculiar, some cranky, some too good-natured. All of us remember a Mrs. Cochran, who taught eight of us in grade two. All of Earl and Cecil were in the North End for that grade. Then three of Mother's grandchildren sat under her. What a record! One we all remembered for his peculiarities, although he was a good teacher, was Mr. Palmiter. He loved to use the strap, even for small demeanors. Cecil and Earl recall that his straps were continually missing. When the janitor removed a heat register high in the wall to clean it, he found a great number of Mr. Palmiter's Black Mariahs, as he had named them. Boys and girls were addressed only by their last names, and as Mr. Palmiter was cross-eyed, when he shouted, Murray, recite! Neither our sister Eva or cousin Sid Murray knew whom he wanted. He often left the room, then found a stepladder which he placed outside his class door, and climbed it to look through the glass panel above the door, called the transom. He caught many mischief-doers that way. Once he stood outside the door listening, and heard someone talking loudly. He opened the door and shouted, Who was that? No one answered. A boy, Cathers, who was often caught thus, was called up to the front. Cathers, I think it was you. Oh, no, sir, it wasn't. Out came the strap. Then a boy, Poole, not wanting to see the innocent punished, said, Oh, I did it. Come up here, Poole. Finally, our youngest brother, Victor, could stay quiet no longer. Uh, Mr. Palmiter, I'm the one who shouted. And he was. Up to the front he went. Said Mr. Palmiter, Murray, you're getting the strap because you did it. Poole, you're getting it too for telling a lie. And Cathers, you're getting it because you need it anyway. So all three went back to their seats with hands smarting. And Victor felt guilty for not confessing first.